Hey everyone I am Satyansh for all those watching me the, for the very first time I am a final year undergrad student at IIT Jammu in electrical engineering so definitely the first question that you would be asking is that bhaiya you are on the verge of your uh, graduation completion so are you placed or not I am actually doing a 6 months internship at an AI startup so we'll we can discuss about my placements in a separate video uh, if you would like me to make that but in this video like most of the things that i am going to tell you will actually give a broader view of how actually placement season works what all factors uh, affect the placement the video title dark side of placements is actually true to a lot of extent uh, depending on the factors that we are going to discuss in this video and i know many of you watching this video might be a je aspirant who has recently cleared je mains examination with a very good marks so you are definitely aiming for a good college and you should definitely aim for a good college because good college obviously increases your chances of getting placed at better companies as compared to other colleges here in this video let's not ex uh, include uh, the top branches of fungi iits we are only going to discuss the lower branches and the second generation iits and the third generation iits and uh, this is uh, with my placement experience with my batch placement experience uh, with other friends at different iits that i am making this video and combining some common points which have affected the placements in both uh, in everywhere in wherever college you actually are so if if you are following linkedin then you have definitely seen certain articles related to how placements actually happen then uh, someone posting how i got placed at microsoft with uh, three rounds one dsc round uh, one maybe uh, computer fundamentals round and one maybe your final hr round and whatever questions are asked there are many sheets that you follow to complete your dsc preparation for the for your interview but there are certain very important factors apart from your hard work that actually affect your placement a lot and trust me they actually affect your placement a lot before going into that factors let me tell you what is actually the procedure of uh, campus placements at all colleges let's let's just keep it a, a broader view a broader view is that a company might uh, visit your camp campus then there are then there is the first step of resume shortlisting where in your re resumes from multiple departments will go and depending on the company is open for which department like there are certain companies which are only open for btech cs electrical and there are certain companies which are open for all btech branches or all mtech branches plus phd as well so your resume will be sent to the company then there will be a resume shortlisting if you are shortlisted for the if your resume is shortlisted then the next round might be a online assessment or a coding round and depending on a, if if there is a coding round then there might be three to four questions of coding if it is a online assessment then there are aptitude questions as well apart from coding questions there are other questions from uh, let's say mathworks uh, online assessment i actually gave mathworks online assessment so there were this uh, questions of coding in c in c++ and python then you had aptitude questions so there was a mixed uh, type of questions and after your online assessment is cleared you are actually proceeded to the interview round now interview round might have different uh, rounds as per the company some companies finish it in 2 to 3 rounds some might take 4 to 5 round depending on whether they also ask operating system computer fundamentals system design and every other thing so what now you might be asking ki bhai if this procedure is so simple that you only have to get your resume shortlisted so agar mere ko mera resume shortlist karna hai then definitely mai kuch acche projects karunga i'll do some internships and mera resume shortlist ho jayega aur agar if i have to clear my online assessment ya coding round then i'll be uh, i'll do coding since my first year since my second year and get it, get an expert at coding aur mai coding round clear kar lunga mai interview mein pahunch jaunga and once i reach the interview given that i have a time to prepare for the interview i'll read those materials i'll read os i'll revise my dsa preparation through the sheets which i have done and uh, then i will definitely crack the interview as well and in the final hr round i just need to work on my speaking skills so itne mein bhaiya mera placement ho gaya but the fact is 
let's get at the very first stage of resume shortlisting so even if you are a very good candidate even if you have done a very good research internship even if you have done a very good project still there might be chances your resume might not get shortlisted so this is the first stage where the where your luck of placement placement series actually begins placement placements at colleges should actually be a web series wherein you should show students getting placed getting in stress who are not placed so your first step is that your resume is not shortlisted even after being a very worthy candidate so there are my certain factors we we can talk about ats score hota hai ek resume mein theek hai companies ke alag alag criteria aate hain companies have different roles some companies come for a business analyst some come for a ai engineer some come for a software engineer some come for a front end engineer for devops engineer so up it is not like a single person is fluent in or expert in all of these categories so कंपनी के रूल्स के हिसाब से यू हैव टू मॉडिफाई योर रिज्यूम्स एंड ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि अगर तुम्हारा रिज्यूम डेवॉप्स में भी अच्छा है फ्रंट एंड में भी अच्छा है एंड सॉफ्टवेयर में भी अच्छा है देन बिजनेस एनालिस्ट में उस रिज्यूम को कन्वर्ट करना माइट नॉट बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू बिकॉज तुम्हारा उस साइड वर्क एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है सो डेफिनेटली इवन इफ यू हैव अ गुड रिज्यूम ऑन दिस साइड गेटिंग शॉर्ट लिस्टेड इन टू दिस रोल बिजनेस एनालिस्ट रोल माइट बी रियली वेरी टफ फॉर यू तो यहाँ पे पहला हमारा पॉइंट आता है रिज्यूम शॉर्टलिस्टिंग का नाउ लेट्स सी यू क्लियर योर रिज्यूम शॉर्टलिस्टिंग आफ्टर क्लियरिंग योर रिज्यूम शॉर्टलिस्टिंग यू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट राउंड व्हिच इज ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट और अकॉर्डिंग राउंड अब यहाँ पे दे दोज हु आर गेट हु आर प्लेस्ड और वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इन आई एंड आर इन फाइनल ईयर ऑफ द कॉलेज माइट अग्री विथ मी अगर तुम और तुम्हारा दोस्त साथ में बैठ के यू आर गिविंग एन ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट और कोडिंग राउंड बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट सारे कॉलेजेस में यही होता है दिस इज नॉट अ फैक्ट टू हाइड देन अगर तुम्हारे चार क्वेश्चन होते हैं सेम टाइम पे या साम तुम्हारे दोस्त के भी चार क्वेश्चन होते हैं लेट से तुम्हारे चार क्वेश्चन पहले हो गए तुम्हारे दोस्त के चार क्वेश्चन बाद में हुए अगर चार कोडिंग क्वेश्चन थे तो स्टिल अब तुम सोचोगे कि यार मेरा टाइम स्टैम्प तो इतना था मैंने ये क्वेश्चंस आधे घंटे में कर लिए इसने ये क्वेश्चंस 45 मिनट्स में किए हैं एंड देन कॉलेज में तुमने जिससे भी डिस्कस किया एवरी वन हैज ऑलमोस्ट फिनिश्ड इन 40 और 45 मिनट्स एंड यू हैव फिनिश्ड इन 30 मिनट्स बट स्टिल यू माइट नॉट गेट शॉर्ट लिस्टेड नाउ यू वुड बी एक्चुअली वंडरिंग वाई भैया वाई इवन आफ्टर डूइंग द क्वेश्चन एट सच ए रैपिड पेस आई एम नॉट गेटिंग शॉर्ट लिस्टेड बिकॉज प्लेसमेंट इज एटी based on luck 80 or sometimes even 90% based on luck if you really don't have a luck at that time see to get placed the truth is for one long day you should have that luck with you sometimes it see i'm not saying knowledge doesn't matter knowledge matters you must be good in dsa you must be good in fundamentals but you are good for this in almost all the companies but still you get rejected in four to five companies why because your luck doesn't carry with you on that day so you really need to be lucky for getting online assessment or coding rounds clear i have seen i have i have personal experiences i have seen friends who have done less questions than some of the guys and then they get shortlisted and those who have actually done more questions and sometimes not even with uh, without cheating they actually don't get shortlisted so this is the second point where uh, this thing will arise third is your interview round so interview round what happens is that you your first round might be dsc your second round might be coding fundamentals and if the company is google microsoft or any other big company we talk about meta so amazon they might have a system design round as well so that might be their third round and in the fourth round they might have an hr round and they then they conclude the their placement uh, interviews so meeting the company's criteria is actually that not easy even if you have given your interview good even if you have a good dsa you have cleared your dsa round even if you have, everyone in the company who is there is actually talented be it a boy be it a girl so i'm not talking about this but companies diversity hiring factors might actually affect your placement so these are two factors that now affect your interview rounds 
and now since you are rejected in the final round the consequence is that you really get a lot of stress you really get a lot of depression and the biggest thing is that you really get a lot of question on yourself that where did i go wrong even if you have done everything so good you have studied perfect you uh, you have enjoyed your college life let's say you have managed everything then the single question would be like ki yaar main is company se bhi reject ho gaya aisa kaise ho sakta hai and trust me this is there is not uh, like if your luck is not good then you won't be settling in just one rejection there might be certain more rejections if your luck is good then after one or two rejections you are getting going to get placed please understand this point that you really need to work also it's not just on luck but yes it is mostly on luck so now i was talking about hiring numbers so before 2024 the pre covid batch or the pre uh, recession batch the recession was actually due to covid so that batch was actually the companies that came during that time they were slightly lenient on the interviews they used to ask dsa they used to ask very basic questions of os and they used to conclude that those interviews but now the companies that are coming they really first of all if you have uh, no courses left in your 8th semester like i completed my courses in the 7th semester and the 8th semester i don't didn't had much courses only one online course so if you are eligible for 6 months internship that company then the company seeks it actually as a better uh, opportunity for you to learn you will you will uh, eventually learn during the 6 months internship and then once you are converted into the full time then the company won't be having delay to help you learn about the work because you have actually worked as a 6 months internship there intern there so this is also a factor that most companies look for they come for a 6 months internship and then the ppo which is actually pre uh, placement offer we were talking about the uh, hiring numbers before uh, 2024 after 2024 and how the interview criterias of companies have changed so these are some factors that actually affect you a lot and trust me these sometimes these factors affect to a extent that you actually go into the depression i have seen some of my fellow mates who are so talented who are extremely good and yet they have a very less ctc in their hand and due to which and what happens is that once your uh, january december uh, this time period passes there are very less companies visiting your college for the placements okay i am not uh, initiating a fear in you but this is true so you really need to apply off campus and trust me off getting an off campus offer is really very very tough it's really very very tough it is also one of the uh, challenging part of placements so uh, you should pray for your luck you should definitely work hard and uh, definitely give uh, those who are giving jee the you give jee go in one of the best colleges and once uh if there is a doubt between a branch or a college then try to choose the branch what what i actually perceived from my placement experience you should be either from computer science branch or sometimes to ex- extent of electrical engineering or even mechanical engineering but below that in uh, old in new iits be it second generation be it third generation the placements are not very good so you need to understand this uh every i think i have covered most of the points here i really wanted to make this video for you guys because these factors actually uh affected a lot as i said to some of my fellow mates who are actually really good at stress depression anxiety all problems are occurring but you should never give up keep trying keep working hard ultimately whatever is happening is happening for the good maybe the god is preparing you for something best uh, if you guys tell me uh, if you guys ask me i'll i'll describe what what rejections i faced through my placement season and how i actually finally got placed in a company we can talk about in some different video so that's it i hope uh, you have understood everything even if you have a doubt do mention in the comment section i am happy to answer that and yeah and thank you